Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, DJI FPV drone promises extensive capabilities. Also, Hartzell expanded the eligibility of its popular three-blade aluminum Voyager props, and Boeing Loyal Wingman and Crewed Aircraft completes first flight. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode filled with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with DJI's pulling out all the stops with an FPV drone with extensive capabilities. DJI has launched a new type of drone, an FPV drone that combines the first-person view and performance of racing drones, the camera capabilities of traditional drones, and an optional, innovative single-handed motion controller that allows pilots to control the drone with just hand movements. The DJI FPV ecosystem includes the drone, goggles, a dedicated remote controller, and a new intuitive motion controller option that steers the drone based on the movement of your hand. The drone features high-performance motors for incredible speeds, an intuitive user interface, and the latest safety features for greater control. The new FPV system lets pilots see from the drone's perspective in low latency, high definition thanks to O3, the third iteration of DJI's OcuSync technology. It can capture smooth and stable 4K video at 60 frames per second with the assistance of a rock steady electronic image stabilization. DJI FPV safety features include a new emergency brake and hover feature to help make flying safer and less intimidating for new users, as well as DJI suite of industry-leading safety solutions, including GPS-based geofencing to advise pilots for airspace restrictions and potential hazards, and an ADS-B receiver system to warn pilots when other manned aircraft are nearby. After the break, Samaritan's PERS DC-8 to be displayed at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2021. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Samaritan's PERS DC-8 to be displayed at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2021. The Samaritan's PERS Douglas DC-8 has flown for medical personnel and other relief workers, as well as tons of food, medicine, and supplies to aid victims of natural disasters, war, famine, and other emergencies around the globe. will be featured at the world's largest flying convention in 2021 as part of the EAA AirVenture Oshkosh. The DC-8 jet aircraft will be part of a salute to humanitarian aviation at the 68th edition of EAA's annual flying convention on July 26 until August 1st at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh. All charged up X-57 readies for initial test series. 
NASA is set to start high-voltage functional ground testing of the agency's first all-electric X-plane, the X-57 Maxwell, which will perform flights to help develop certification standards for emergency electric aircraft. NASA is also supporting these new electric aircraft by developing quiet, efficient, reliable technology these vehicles will need in routine use. The testing will take place at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. CAE acquiring L3 Harris Technologies military training business. CAE has entered into a definite agreement with L3 Harris Technologies to acquire L3 Harris military training business for $1.05 billion. The L3 Harris military training business includes Link Simulation and Training, DOS Aviation, and AMI. L3 Harris Link is one of the leading providers of military training solutions in the United States. DOS Aviation is the provider of initial flight training to the United States Air Force, and AMI is a design and manufacturing facility for simulator hardware. EAA and other general aviation groups had the opportunity earlier this month to connect with the FAA's new federal air surgeon. They were able to welcome Dr. Susan Northrup to her new position and briefly discuss some of the major issues faced by GA pilots relating to medical certification. Dr. Northrup is a retired U.S. Air Force colonel and a senior FAA aviation medical examiner. While in the Air Force, she also served as the U.S. delegate to NATO's Aeromedical Working Group. Dr. Northrup and her husband are both involved in general aviation. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Hartzell has expanded its eligibility of its popular three-blade aluminum Voyager props. Voyager is now SDC approved for the large fleet of Cessna 180, 182, 185, 206 aircraft powered by Continental 520 and 550 engines. The Voyager, which has reportedly been well received by Bush pilots, was previously approved for Cessna's A185E-F Skywagon and AG Carrywall aircraft. The custom-designed Voyager propeller provides a premium performance with up to 7 knots faster cruise speed, 10% better takeoff acceleration, an exceptional climb rate, and quieter flight. It features swept aluminum blades designed for optimal performance. Cessna Backcountry Adventures are encouraged to contact Hartzell Propeller or one of its recommended service facilities to order the Voyager. Following FTC approval, Hartzell expects to deliver more than 50 additional Voyager propellers by the end of the year. Regular pricing for the 86-inch diameter Voyager propeller will be about $14,000, including polished spinner and all STC documentation. The new Scimitar propeller can be reworked down to 84 inches in diameter if needed. The Voyager propeller has a 2400-hour, six-year TBO and the longest propeller warranty in the business through first overhaul. After these messages, Boeing Loyal Wingman Uncrew Aircraft completes first flight details after the break. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. 
Boeing Loyal Wingman and Crew Aircraft completes first flight. The Royal Australian Air Force has successfully completed the first test flight of the Loyal Wingman and Crew Aircraft. The flight of the first military aircraft to be designed and manufactured in Australia in more than 50 years under the supervision of a Boeing test pilot monitoring the aircraft from a ground control station at the Woomera Range Complex. The Loyal Wingman's first flight is a major step in this long-term, significant project for the Air Force and Boeing Australia, and we're thrilled to be part of a successful test, said Air Vice Marshal Kath Roberts, our AAF Head of Air Force Capability. The Loyal Wingman project is a pathfinder for the integration of autonomous systems and artificial intelligence to create smart human-machine teams. Following a series of taxi tests validating ground handling, navigation and control, and pilot interface, the aircraft completed a successful takeoff under its own power before flying a predetermined route at different speeds and altitudes to verify flight functionality and demonstrate the performance of the air power teaming system design. Additional Loyal Wingman aircraft are currently under development, with plans for a teaming flights scheduled for later this year. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.